What's going on guys? My name's Tabs and of course you guys know that. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out a cheat that I spoke about in my previous video letting you guys know that all the cheats that I was going over were available for CS2. Obviously since uploading that video more have become available. We have like Phantom Overlay, Dark Game, 420 Cheats and a bunch of others that are being worked on. But today I wanted to go over Facurity as a lot of people in my Discord were trying it. They had okay things to say, some good things to say and obviously we had one negative introspect there but anyways before we hop into the video i do want to say that you guys can pick this up from realdudesinc.com security cs2 we have one day for two dollars 14 days for four dollars and a month for six dollars so this is definitely a cheaper cheat and i do believe it is kernel level as it does make you disable secure boot to inject it uh as it does automatically restart windows for you and load up but anyways we have the game open so we're literally just gonna hop right into it we'll tab into game here hit insert to check out the menu if anybody is a uh, a member from when i used to do member videos on tabs.com now we just have free stuff up there by the way if you haven't checked out tabs.com make sure to do so that's where you find all the videos that i can't post on youtube security has the same style menu that they used for a very long time i think this is like a modern warfare one uh player model here of ghost and we're gonna set up a little config go over the cheat go over the settings and uh, check out Facurity for you boys and hop into a match. All right, so hopping right into the Facurity menu, as you can see at the top left, we have General for Aimbot, we have Enable, Aim While Shooting, Visible Only, Target Switch Delay, Aimbox, Hitbox Priority, uh, the Aim Key, your Secondary Aim Key, Trigger, your mode for that would be Disabled Always and On, we have our trigger key for holding and a toggle key and of course your trigger delay which is going to go by ticks we have our weapon settings here so you can enable each one of these and go through them and add your settings for example we have toggle mouse aim meaning that uh, you are going to be using your mouse to uh, toggle aimbot and of course we have fov here nearest coefficient aim horizontal speed and vertical seed start at bullet rcs and recoil control horizontal and vertical you're going to go here and left click to choose what you want your hitbox to be so red is going to be first orange is going to be second third is going to be green fourth is going to be a light blue and then you have a darker gray for ignore so for example here i want neck to be the first hitbox that i'm targeting and then head to be second and body to be third and then arms to be fourth so if the aimbot tries to again attack a target uh it's going to either aim for the neck first if it's not visible it'll go for head if head isn't visible it'll go for the other ones realistically it also matters where you put your mouse if you're closer to the chest it's going to try to go for chest visuals i think this is where um a lot of people get a little bit confused about security and why some people experienced like a not really a like a, a trust issue but a ban was the fact that they do have glow here i would highly recommend turning this off before you even join a game this is probably what is getting uh some people banned i don't know about everyone but glow is by default just enabled in the menu obviously it doesn't take any effect on the game uh, until you're in the game but uh, glow is something i would highly highly recommend disabling as we all know from csgo it is detected so players we have enable enemy only box box outline expandable box in the ppi we have health corpses skeleton max distance and player info including names distance and weapons we have drop weapons we have enable box box outline name show ammo show distance maximum distance in grenades we have enable box box outline name and show distance and the max distance there in miscellaneous, we have auto jump, auto pistol, auto accept matchmaking, night mode factor, spectators list. We can do local two, team two, enemies two, or display local name. We have full safe and untrusted mode. If you enable this, you are going to enable a lot of features that you should not be playing with. Right now, we are on full safe, as you can see. On the right side, we have override the view FOV and recoil crosshair. We have developer mode here and the engine for input method. We're doing hardware and there is a software version. So we are going to be using the hardware input mode as that's just it's low level. You don't have to worry too much about detections with that. And then display units, we have meters, feet and yards and the DPI of the menu, which right now we are at 133 as I am playing in 1440p. In colors, you can change all the colors of your visible and non-visible ESP. You have GUI colors as well. And of course, you're going to be using a full RGB spectrum uh, setup for that. And we also have here, this is on every single one of the cheats. This is just developmental functions. You'd have to enable untrusted mode uh, as well as enable the software version, enable to see some more stuff here. But this is just the new development stuff. Anyways, let's hop into a game, check out the visuals and see what's good. All right, we got ourselves into a casual. Let's see what we can do here. Visuals don't look bad, honestly. Obviously, a lot more visuals than I'm used to. Just because I'm used to be uh, used to playing Premiere. But uh, I don't want this video to be too long.
I would say right off the bat, it's got really good aimbot. The aimbot is very accurate. Uh, there are a few settings that I would change, honestly. Like right now, I do have uh, head on fourth just because I would actually prefer to shoot neck and chest. Getting headshots is a little too easy. I think I would lower the RCS a little bit as it does seem very powerful, very strong. I don't think all that is necessary. Let me buy a couple nades here. Let's get a molly out there. Little through the smoke shot. Have a little bit of fun with them. All right, hold on. Well, I didn't really get to play much there, so I'm just going to vote for Mirage and hope that uh, the next game is a little bit longer. I'm recording this game at like, I don't know, 7 in the morning, something like that. I want to make sure that this guy, this comes out for you guys at a nice time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. No problems here when it comes to uh, the trigger whatsoever. Still getting good frames. We're about 400 FPS right now. Peek in the corner. Still at about 400. No problems when it comes to frames. Oh, yeah, dude. That trigger bot is very, very accurate. Yeah, I don't think I have to worry about trigger at all. This guy up top. Nope. Yeah. Trigger bot is probably one of the better trigger bots I've used for this game for sure. That's trigger again. Hold that. See when he becomes visible. And yeah, immediately dead. Immediately dead. Jesus, literally no problems. Okay, that's a shit show. That is a absolute shit show. I don't know if this cheat's considered external. I think it's just a kernel level internal, if if that's if that's a thing. I don't think they claim to be external or anything like that. I'm not 100% sure. But um, Fikurdi does have kind of a shitty, a shitty pass with having some cheats that are just detected really easy, but it's CSGO. It's not like you're cheating in Valorant, so Triggerbot is just undefeated. Undefeated. Almost. Almost. Hey, yo, Fakirti's aimbot, honestly, surprisingly feels top notch. I did not expect this for such a cheap cheat. Again, six bucks for a month. It is a beta. Uh, realistically, I'd probably just buy a weak key. But like, that ain't bad, brother. That ain't bad. I quite, I quite like it. Oh, is it? Oh, it's me and another guy. It's a 2v2. I think I'll take both kills. Try to look a little legit. Don't want to stack this many reports. Although, I think we all know VAC Live and VACnet pretty much don't exist at this point in time in the beta. Easy peasy. Nobody up in this bitch. Oof. He was one bullet off dead, but I know that my team's going to clutch this. Yep, easy. Easy. Anyways, guys, that's security. If you guys are interested in picking it up, again, you guys can go over to realdudesinc.com. First link in the description using code tabs on checkout and save yourself an additional 10% off. This is pretty fun. I didn't expect it to be that good. For all the shit people talk about security, their CS2 cheat actually uh, performs much better than some of the cheats that I've played with. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. My name's Tabs, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, bros. Peace. What?